Let's practice a few of these momentum problems. We start by writing down what we have in our problem. So example one, a pitcher throws a fastball with a momentum of 5.83 kilograms times meters per second. If the mass of the ball is 0.145 kilogram, what is its speed? So let's write down what we know. Momentum, and remember that has the unexpected symbol of P. And momentum has some complicated units. And if the mass is asking for speed, and that just means velocity without a direction. I know we don't use the S in the equation because it technically is velocity in the equation but the question asks for speed so that you don't have to come up with a direction. Our momentum equation is P equals M times V, and most of you can rearrange this one with no problems, but let's practice with our magic triangle. Draw your three spots. M and V are next to each other, so P goes up top. So if we want to solve for V, we have P over M. And again, this is lowercase p because capital P is pressure. So 5.83 kilogram times meters per second. divided by 0.145 kilograms, and you can see our kilograms cancels out, giving us meters per second, which is a good unit to have when you're talking about a mass. And you get 40.2 meters per second. Let's try another example. So example two, Said, says that one of the most massive cars to have been manufactured on a regular basis was a Russian car. If one of these cars were to move at just 9.1 meters per second, its momentum would be 26,700 kilograms times meters per second. What is the mass of this car? So if we have a speed, and we know this is a speed because of its units. And it's momentum. It tells you that this is a momentum. What is the mass? So Above, I had drawn this. So if we're solving for mass, we have P divided by V. Momentum divided by velocity. So 26,700 kilograms and meters per second divided by 9.1 meters per second, we get 2,934 kilograms. To give you some perspective, on average, a car has a mass between 1 and 2,000 kilograms. So this is almost 3,000, and that's a pretty significant difference. Let's look at our last problem. We have a 50 kilogram cheetah, when we know kilograms is mass, can run 274 meters. Now that's a distance.
in 8.65 seconds, that's a time, what is its momentum? J. So in this one, we know P equals M times V, but we don't have velocity. But we do have the tools to solve for, the tools to solve for velocity. So we know P equals M times V, and we have M, so we have to get V. And we know velocity equals D over T, which we were given. So let's solve for our velocity first, after we check our units. Kilogram, that's good, that's our SI units. Meters, second, good. 274 meters divided by 8.65 seconds gives us a velocity of 31.7 meters per second. So here we say P equals M times V. So P equals 50 kilograms times 31.7 meters per second. And we get that our momentum equals 1,585, and you can see none of these units cancel out, kilogram times meters per second, which are the appropriate SI units for momentum. Keep practicing with these, do the practice problems below, do at least one to make sure that you're doing them correctly, and if you have questions, please ask for help.